Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the second example of pseudohalogen that is called as thiocyanogen. It is what? Thio. Thio means what? Sulfur. And cyanogen that is carbon and nitrogen. Now how we are going to prepare this compound students? So first preparation students, it is prepared by reacting lead thiocyanide solution with bromine in presence of ether or mercurous cyanide in ether. Understand students? So if you have lead thiocyanide lead thiocyanide when you are with bromine in presence of ether you are getting lead bromide and thiocyanogen you are getting what thio, thio means what sulfur and this is a cyanogen so you are getting thiocyanogen understand difference now same way mercury thiocyanide issuance in presence of bromine in presence of ether issuance you are getting mercury bromide mercury bromide and you are getting what thiocyanogen understanding students so this way you can prepare the first preparation is very very important students you are getting thiocyanogen this way you can prepare the thiocyanogen thiocyanogen now second preparation students it can be prepared by reacting reaction of manganese dioxide this is manganese dioxide with thiocyanic acid this is the thiocyanic acid because of h it we call as what acid so we are we, we, if manganese dioxide react with thiocyanic acid you are getting manganese thiocyanide water and you are getting what thiocyanogen this is our compound you can also prepare students third preparation when lead lead tetraacetate is treated with thiocyanic acid gives thiocyanogen understanding students so students you have lead tetraacetate because of four we called as what lead tetraacetate combined with thionic acid you are getting acetic acid lead acetate and you are getting what thiocyanogen now students we are going to see the properties. What are the properties it has, students? Once you got the thiocyanogen, what properties it has? It is a poisonous substance. It is also very poisonous and melt at 250 degree and convert to parathiocyanogen. Understanding, students? It is also forming what? Parathiocyanogen. Understand? This is the symbol, students. Now, what happens, students? When dissolved in water, it undergoes hydrolysis. You have thiocyanogen, students. You are dissolving in water. It gives sulfurous acid and thiocyanic acid you are getting what issues you are getting thiocyanic acid and sulfurous acid this is the sulfurous acid and this is what thiocyanic acid understanding students now it also react readily with potassium iodide and oxidize potassium iodide to iodine similarly hydrogen sulfide yes to yes is oxidized to sulfur understanding students it react readily with the potassium iodide and oxidize potassium iodide to iodine and yes to yes to sulfur now students here i have given students you have thiocyanogen students it is reacting with potassium iodide and you are getting what potassium thiocyanide and you are getting what iodine understanding students so this way you can convert potassium iodide is converting to iodine gas thiocyanogen is also reacting with h2s and you are getting what thionic acid and what you are getting sulfur it gives addition reaction with ethene this is the ethene students this is what ethene now when ethene react with thiocyanogen you are getting what the double bond will become single bond and here you, you are getting one to thiocyanogen ethene understanding students now what will be the possible structure students it has following following linear structure when you see the structure of sulfur sulfur single bond here these two are the lone pairs students now it is combined with cyanide this cn and it is also what cn and this is the structure of the compound these are very very important components. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.